So here we are. Time to put the, the pattern on or transfer. Um, I have it over here because I wanted to leave room in case I wanted to do a snowman over here. So uh, I just placed it. You can see where the snow line is. I will probably have to add some more snow up here, but that's okay. Now, I have a whole blog post and video on how to transfer patterns, and that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm not gonna make you watch me transfer this pattern. I'm just gonna do it, come back, and then we'll start on the trees. So you notice I have the pattern transferred on here. I didn't bother going over there with everything. And here's where the snow line is, which I could fill in later. Right now we're gonna do the trees behind the barn. I have my little craft sponge. I've also used these in the past. This is like little cheapo sponges from the dollar store. So I can use either one. So I got over here on my palette, this is cinnamon and this is cafe latte. I think I like the cinnamon better, but I can use dip in both since I have them both out. And I'm just loading my sponge. And um, I can, I like the cinnamon is a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna put that towards the top. My sponge is feeling a little wonky. Now these trees are not uniform. They just, you're, act, you're um, gonna just put in some light trees, different levels, move your sponge around, reload as needed. And that time I got the coffee latte on top, which I didn't want. So I'll just go back over it, no big deal. And I bring it down to the barn. I'm not gonna, I can, I'm not gonna obscure my line, but I am gonna make sure that I have those colors. And I will get some white in just a minute. I'm just going to put these colors in. And I like the two different shades. So I'm just, I'm gonna look at my practice piece to kind of get an idea. And I'm gonna have them come back down over here to the side and down to the snow line. And reload. And these are gonna come out over here. I want them like one big one to kind of really go up far. Now there's no defined must have uh, tree line. You can put in trees as you see fit, leave some little airy over there. And you can fill in with some different green shrubbery later. Okay, time for the white. Wicker white. Now remember my wicker white has some goobers in it and I'm fine with that. I could go get another new one out and the goobers are plugging it up still. So I'm just gonna put some right here. And this sponge looks like it needs to be replaced because it's falling apart and leaving pieces. That can happen. Just get a new sponge if it bug, bugs you. Okay, I'm just doing one side. I'm not cleaning the sponge. I'm just getting some white and we're going to just top up the trees a little bit here and there. Act like there's different levels where this, the um, light is touching the top of the trees. Move your thing so you're not getting like, I see the little lines there. I don't like that. I'm gonna move my sponge around and I'm gonna change that a little bit so that it doesn't have a uniform look to it. Different levels of trees. Here's another level. Here's another level. Keep it light, light and airy. And let a little airy. Now see, I didn't get up to the barn here. Now I could decide I'm on a, a fir tree or a green tree there, that works. But I'm gonna bring this right to the edge of the barn. And that way I don't have to worry about filling in with something else. Just, just because. So there we have 
our light and airy trees. As the sponge, the paint is coming out, I just kind of diffuse it into the different areas. Now you are going to come back and put some more in in a little bit, so don't worry about overdoing. Alrighty, so to make them have a trunk, we're going to use um, the number two liner. And if you have a hard time like I do with getting your lines too thick, then you might want to try uh, Ott A0. So here is some burnt umber. Now you can use, um, let me see, what color comes in this set? A dark brown. I think the only dark brown they have is the coffee bean. Let's see if I find that to be acceptable. Let me get the, the wrapper off. I may, one thing I do suggest, even though it does not come in this set that I'm utilizing, is get upper number. That is just like a universal color. The real brown that I have used too comes in another set, but if you find that instead of burnt umber, that works as well. Let me see. This may do, be just the dark enough to do. This, this color I'm using is the one that comes in the set and it's called Coffee Bean. Not Coffee Latte, but the, the Coffee Latte is the lighter tan, but it's Coffee Bean. Now I wanna make this inky See, I added water, I'm pulling my liner through it, and then I'm gonna be very, very careful to put in just a few trunks. And I'm just gonna do some lines. It doesn't matter if they're solid. If it skips, that's fine, because trees, you know, foliage and what have you, can. Make sure you keep it on the tip. And branches come out. So you're just kind of putting in an indication of some trunks. Just how it would go. Just little lines that give it that feel for those trunks back there. And the foliage, peeking through the foliage. Keep it thinner. See, I get a little heavy handed and that is, that's when I need to add more water. Make sure it's inky, pull it to a thin point and add some little branches. Okay, good. I think that's less is more. You can always go back and add more. And I think the coffee bean is a good color because it's got enough darkness that it stands out without being like a punch in the face. So we will go with that. And I think I will draw in where I would like my pine trees. Pines, evergreens, whatever you want to do it. Okay, so this one could be one of the pines. And I think I want this line to be a little bit higher, but I want the pine to go up way beyond the barn. Now placement is up to you. You could have one pine tree, you could have two pine trees, I want three. So I'm going to go ahead and Decide where I want my pine tree trunks. Now, my pine trees will probably mostly obscure the trunks. And I want them at different heights. So I'm going to have this one where it comes down past where the trunk will, I mean, the tree will actually come down past this. So I'm going to make this one a bit shorter. And I probably should have started at the bottom, working my way up so it has a little bit of a point. But there's the placement of my evergreen trees. Looking at these trees, they are much too dark. Much, much too dark for my liking. So I'm going to go in with linen and I'm going to really pull down that color a little bit. Just to bring down the brightness of that 
color without mushing in with the white. So there. I should have maybe used the, um, in the future, I probably would use the linen mixed with the cinnamon for this. Okay, now I'm going to go into the white, and I got a big glob of something on my sponge, and I'm going to just touch in a little highlight, and, oh, no, I didn't want that, sorry, I got the wrong color. So I'm going to mix the linen with this cinnamon, and put that up there. So I wanted this to be a bit taller for the pine tree to be tall. So I want this to come up a little bit. And that's good. It kind of has an undulation there. So now I'm going to bring out some more white and top that up. Now you do this to your, to your liking. And I'm just going to pounce out the sponge a little bit. Touch up these areas that need lightening. Okay. Don't overdo it. I do tend to get a little heavy handed, but it's in the background. The barn is the main star of the show, so we're not going to worry about that being perfect, but I did want to kind of lighten that up a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna find my, um, the brush I wanna use for the pine trees and we're gonna put those in.